What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about my thoughts on The Last Guardian. Now, a lot of you guys know that Team Eco has been working diligently on this game for a number of years. Somewhere close to nine years this game has been in development. Many people speculated they would never see light of day for a long time. Team Eco went dark. And finally, at E3 of 2015, they showed this gameplay trailer, which showed the young male protagonist working along this creature. I, I'm, I'm guessing this creature might be The Last Guardian, either he or the main character of The Last Guardian. And I watched this trailer over and over again. I was trying to find little uh, things to notice in it that could probably tell some of the story. And of course, you guys know, Team Eco keeps their stories and keeps everything so so concise that it's really hard to pick anything apart. Pretty much in this trailer we saw exactly what they wanted us to see. They didn't want to see any enemy types or you know anything that would flesh out any of the story in this game. And so this is all pretty much imagination. I have a really good imagination. So I uh, was watching this trailer over and over again. I started to notice a few things. The young boy in The Last Guardian is very, very reminiscent to the character model of the main protagonist in the first PlayStation uh, 2 game, Eco. Now, if you guys look at the two characters, there are some differences, but there are some subtle uh, similarities as well. Uh, as you guys can see, both have this orange shirt underneath what appears to be cloths. And uh, that kind of struck me as odd as well. They both have the same color or similar color gear on. And they, there's a myriad of colors for Eco to pick, for Team Eco to pick. Uh, but they pick the same color palette for both their characters. And there also happens to be this giant creature that walks around with you in this game that you d rely on, it relies on you for survival, and who knows exactly what the story is going to be. But I was imagining it and letting my imagination go wild, and I came up with a crazy, crazy coincidence or a crazy story that could possibly be, possibly be happening. Uh, what if this game is a prequel to... Shadow of the Colossus and the original Eco. Wouldn't that be crazy? Uh, it's a real possibility. They have a really strong fan base in their original properties. Namely, Shadow of the Colossus is probably their most spectacular game and it made the PlayStation 2 look amazing. And so I'm seeing this giant creature in The, uh, the Last Guardian and I'm also seeing this boy who's very reminiscent to the young male protagonist in Eco, the original game. So what if this game is actually telling the story of what happened, which led up to Eco and what led up to Shadow of the Colossus. Now follow me here. It is very, very possible that this giant creature, this giant dragon, cat, dog creature, could end up being uh, one of the uh, Colossi or something similar in this world. Uh, because Team Eco did specify that this is the third part of their game trilogy. so. All these games are somehow linked. Now, there wasn't really a, a real tangible link between Shadow of the Colossus and Eco, other than the game's graphics look relatively similar. What if The Last Guardian marries all three of these games together in a way that makes us all go back to the originals? What if you beat this game as this young male and he continues on into the story of Eco and maybe becomes that boy? You already see the orange undershirt on, it's really similar. Maybe something happens that makes him grow the horns uh, that are so prevalent in the original Eco game. And what happens if this giant creature that's with you in this game turns into a Colossi or maybe becomes one of the first Colossi? And what if you meet the Wanderer in this game, the character from Shadow of the Colossus? What if you actually meet him in this game? It would really be amazing. And I think that would be a very awesome way to tell this story. I think that this story, it has to be amazing. I think it's a very endearing uh, relationship that this young male character has with this dragon cat dog creature and I think it would really be breathtaking if they found some way to marry all three games in a real tangible and meaningful way that this young male somehow turns into the boy from Eco, and along the way your sidekick this giant creature becomes a colossi. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. I know this is a little out there, but to me it could work. It would make a lot of sense and it would really tie in all the other eco games that people have played and loved for years. And who knows, if this situation did occur, can you guys imagine if they remade Shadow of the Colossus and Eco for the PlayStation 4? Or God forbid they made a part two of those games that uh, well, it'll be 20 years before they come out. 
but you guys get the point. Let me know in the comments below if you think this is reasonable at all. If you guys see any more similarities between the characters and the worlds of Shadow of the Colossus, Eco, and The Last Guardian, be sure to let me know. As always, thank you guys so much for all the support. Those thumbs up really help the channel. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.